Auditions are a lot of fun. We come up with different judges. Um, this is the hardest probably to judge because kids come in with no music. You have to sing a cappella, but no instruments. And this is where you sit through 200 plus kids. Um, going into the audition, I was, I was really nervous because I switched my song like the day before. Because when you go the first time, it's like, oh, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Is it, uh, everyone's worried and I, you talk to people outside and they're all confused teenagers. <laughs> so it's just a bunch of angst in a room. And the day that I auditioned, I was extremely ill. Like, I was ill to the point where I felt nauseous in the car ride on the way here. I don't care about the time or money. I just never thought that I'd be through with these things. But I guess it paid off because here I am. But woo, that was a time. Semifinals is a really fun time uh, because you get to finally work with these kids in a way where you hear more than what they gave you on the audition. So they bring three song choices with them and we ask them to cover different genres so that we can put together a show in semifinals that is mixed. It's not all power ballads, it's not all rock anthems. So then we're excited, we pick the top 10 and from there, we go to a summer of fun. The whole team works together to help them be better people. Right. Richard McCroskey, our uh, musical director, who is absolutely amazing because he can transpose things in his head <laughs> and can pick up, say, oh, let's change it this way, and he can immediately start picking it out. I mean, I don't dance. Like, that's one of the things that I specifically did not do before I got here, but now I dance because Dana made me. I've also learned that when you are with the right people, it's possible to dance like no one's watching, even though like everyone's watching you. We all laugh and joke like we're like we've known each other forever and we've known each other for a few months. Everyone's been so, so, so nice. It, I feel like it's really hard to put a group of teenagers together and for there not to be any type of drama or um, cliques. I think we all just enjoy each other so much and we know how special this is. So there's not really a competition aspect, it's just getting to know everybody and hoping that you can do your best out there. So being around other people, it's more of just a friend group and getting to know people and getting to see the other talents that are around you. I think the biggest thing that I learned is that um, hard work is is more fun and more in the and the product is more attainable when you're working as a group. So yeah, it's been an amazing experience and everyone involved is just phenomenal at what they do and as human beings. I feel like the people in charge of Casey Superstar just do such a wonderful job of not only making it like this amazing experience, but also making it like a place where people feel comfortable, where people feel like they can be themselves. It's just nice to come here and be completely myself when I perform and just have it be accepted because I'm not anyone else and I just feel like I've grown into myself more because I'm, I'm not gonna allow myself to be put in a box anymore. So it's nice. So those summer months when we really get to work with the kids and get to know them and really hopefully help them grow as people really is important to me and is the part that I really love the most. Because uh, the last song we're all gonna be together and that's gonna be amazing. Throughout this, we've been working and working. If you wanna go back to semifinals, everyone was working then, and now we're together. We've been working for all these months, and it culminates in this one awesome, spectacular show. The winner of the $10,000 Edward and Ellen Rose Family Scholarship and the title of Casey Superstar.